Hi everyone, welcome to our first video. So, we can all remember from previous math classes that an algebraic equation has variables um, at equality and constants, right? But a differential equation involves unknown functions and its derivatives. So, why do we study them? Well, there are many different applications to differential equations, but I'm going to start with a very specific one. Let's consider a spring mass system where y of t represents the displacement of the spring mass from its equilibrium position. Well, we have this general for, uh, formula f equals ma, but we can express this relationship way more precisely by using differential equations. Uh, we could say that the spring force minus the vis viscous damping plus external forces acted upon the system is equal to the mass times acceleration. But I don't want to scare you like, like showing you uh, this differential equations right now. We're going to start with very basic definition of what is an ordinary uh, differential equation and what is a partial differential equation. Let's start with ordinary. So an ordinary differential equation is a differential equation in that depends on only one variable. So these two are examples of ordinary differential equations. A partial differential equation is a differential equation that depends on two or more variables. And this is an example of a partial differential equations. We're gonna start the scores by um, talking about ordinary differential equations and then at the very end we're gonna talk about partial differential equations and now the thing that I want to talk about is the order of a differential equation so the order of a differential equation is the order of the highest derivative that appear that appear, appears in the differential equation. So let's give an example. If we have the fourth derivative of y plus y triple prime plus y to the fifth is equal to zero. In this example, uh, what do you think is the order of the differential equation? Well, this 5 right here is an algebraic power. Oops. This is an algebraic power. And this 4 right here, in parentheses, represents that it's a derivative. So in this case, the order of the differential equations would actually be order 4. Because the, like, the 4 is enclosed by the parentheses, and this 5 is just an algebraic power. It's just y to the power of 5. And so this differential equation is to the order 4. And let's give a second example of partial differential equations. So let's say if we have let's look at this example. We you have uh, u and then the subscript of x x t plus u subscript x t equals five. This subscript represents the derivative. Another way to write it, which I think it's, it, it's more like convenient, 
is you have the second derivative second derivative of u with respect to x with respect to t if we look at it this way uh, we can kind of see the highest order of this partial differential equation is 2 because we have um, u being differentiated with respect to x twice so the order of this PDE is equal to 2 all right um, and now that we're done talking about this let's talk about if a differential equation is linear on or nonlinear So the book defines linear ODEs as this. If f is a function of t, y, y prime, y double prime is equal to zero is linear if f is a linear function of this. I think there's a, like a, a clearer way to think about this and I'm gonna explain in detail what makes a, a function linear and what makes it nonlinear and how you can like easily identify them. Um, I usually think about it like in this form. We, you can look at this form and see if a function is linear or nonlinear. So this is an example uh, of a linear function. We have um, the derivatives and decreasing power uh, y, uh, the nth derivative and minus one derivative and minus two derivative, um, and we, you have um, functions of t multiplied by them equals to another function of t. So let's let's start with an example. So just so things can become a little bit clearer and a little bit less theoretical. So is um, y triple prime plus 3t cubed y double prime minus cosine of 5t equals zero. Is this ODE linear? Well, let's look Let's look if this ODE has the same form as uh, this general uh, linear ODE. Um, well, yes, this ODE is linear, and I'm going to show you why. If we rewrite this as y triple prime plus 3t cubed y double prime equals cosine of 5t, uh, you can agree with me that like this, this a naught of t is gonna be equal to the constant function one. This a one of t is gonna be equal to this function right here. So three, three t cubed. So a naught is equal to one. A one is equal to three t cubed. And then g of t is equal to cosine of five t. So g of t is equal to cosine of 5t. Uh, there, are, there are ways to, to easily identify if, if, uh, if an ODE is linear or nonlinear. This is an example of a linear ODE. And let me show you a nonlinear ODE so we can like tell the difference. Well, if we have um, the following function, y triple prime plus 3x squared y double prime plus ln of y prime equals to zero. Well, this ODE is not linear because the, the derivative is inside like the logarithmic function. So whenever like whenever like um like a, a y or its derivatives are inside one of the functions, the ODE is not linear. And another case that it's not linear is when you have when you have a power of y multiplied by its derivative. That is also an example of a nonlinear ODE. So usually 
when we have linear ODEs, we have um, like the like independent variables multiplied by uh, differential powers like uh, y triple prime, y double prime, and then we have this in the, like function of an independent variable t or x and the other side. So these two are examples of nonlinear ODEs. This is an example of a linear ODE, and uh, we're gonna go through more examples. So let's consider this uh, ODE. Is it linear or nonlinear? Let me let you guys think about it for a second. Okay, so this ODE is actually nonlinear, and there are three problems with it. The first problem is that like the y double prime can't be inside another function. So this is the first problem. The second problem is this, y can't be squared, y can't be raised to any power. So this is also uh, the, the second problem. And the third problem is that y is multiplied by one of its derivatives. And like these three are kind of like automatic flags saying like I am not a linear ODE so I know I know like I remember that when I was first learning this I was like it took me a little bit of time to like um, to see really easily what was a linear what was nonlinear but if you just remember you can't have um, you, you can't have y times any of its derivatives you can't have y raised to any power and you can't have y inside another function. So these are like three red flags and say I'm, this is definitely nonlinear. Um, okay, so let's consider the following exercise. Verify that uh, y plus ln of y equals t squared is a solution of this ordinary differential equations. I know we, have to, we haven't talked about like solutions of differential equations, but this one is, is really easy. We, we're just gonna use uh, things from, from calculus. So um, first, first thing to note here is that this is an implicit, is an implicit solution because y is not given explicitly. An explicit solution would be like, y equals t squared plus t blah blah blah. Uh, this is an explicit solution because y uh, is equal to something. An implicit solution is like this form because we can't solve for y here, right? And this kind of gives us a hint on where to start. We're gonna use um, implicit differentiation and then we're gonna show that if we differentiate this we can write it in this form. So let's start by differentiating y plus ln of y equals t squared. So if you differentiate it with respect to t, well, the derivative of y is gonna be dy dt or y prime. And then this we're gonna have one over y times dy dt, uh, and this 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 is just going to be two t, right? Let's let's write it in the same form as they wrote here. Uh, like let's simplify this to just like y prime plus one over y y prime equals two t. Well. If we factor out uh, y prime here, we're going to get one, 1 plus 1 over y is equal to 2t. And if we, um, like if we put everything in the same denominator here, we're going to get y plus 1 over y equals 2t. Well, let's just solve for y prime uh, to see if it's going to give us the same result. And if we 
multiply this by its reciprocal, we're gonna have 2ty over y plus one. So we can see that um, if, if we differentiate this implicit solution, we're gonna have this uh, differential equation. So yes, uh, this is an implicit solution of this differential equation. So you would solve a problem, you would differentiate it, go through all these steps, and then you would conclude that thus, um, y plus ln of y equals t squared is an implicit solution uh, to this ODE, y prime equals 2ty over y plus 1. So this is how you would solve this problem. And the last thing I wanted to notice uh, is that, is this ODE linear or nonlinear? And if you, if you thought that it's nonlinear, uh, you're correct, because if you multiply uh, this bottom term here uh, by y prime, we're gonna, we're gonna have y times y prime, and that is one of our red flags that tells us that this ODE is nonlinear. So thank you for watching this video. Today we talked about what is a differential equation, the difference between an ordinary and a partial differential equation. Um, we talked about the order, if it's linear or nonlinear, and we also did uh, an example of, uh, to verify um, the solution of an ODE. Next time we're gonna talk about linear ODEs more in depth. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.